Well, hey, it's Gersh Kunzman of the Brooklyn Paper at the New York Food and Wine Festival's Burger Bash. It's the only event that they're having in Brooklyn, the whole Food and Wine Festival. And actually, there were going to be no Brooklyn burger joints in the, in the contest at all until Marty Markowitz, our own borough president, interceded and got 67 burger of Fort Greene included in the competition. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to go inside and see what this hype is all about. Well, they were bussing people in. They were bringing them in on limousines for this event so they can enjoy all these fancy burgers from all these Manhattan joints with their Kobe beef and their foie gras burgers. But I don't care where the burger's from. I did what I do best for you, the viewer of the Brooklyn paper. I mean, I did some serious research. I must have eaten about 15 to 20 burgers that night. For you, I did it for you. That's a great burger. Even Al Roker from the Today Show was there. Now, you gotta give the guy a little credit. He actually was manning the stove himself. So that doesn't make him immune to criticism, does it? All right, I'm gonna try the Roker burger. Now, I gotta say, I have always found him to be cloying, a sentimentalist, and, and his reports have about as much edge as a Kmart knife blade. But I'm gonna try it anyway, just to give him a fair shot. No, no, Roker, not today. First of all, the cheese isn't great. The bun is very processed, like a, like a Martin's potato roll. And it's cooked, it's a little overcooked. So, broker, not today, my friend. You come to Brooklyn, you gotta cook like a Brooklynite. Not today. Finally, I had a chance to check in with 67 Burger, and what I found shocked me. You know, as a Brooklynite, I am absolutely appalled that 67 Burger has been shunted out, basically, to the very corner of the tobacco warehouse. They don't even have a sign. They haven't even given them a sign. I think this is an egregious affront to Brooklyn. You're in our house right now. Treat 67 Burger with respect. Thankfully, I had a chance to talk to Jeffrey Meslanka, a real Brooklyn guy, about what he thinks a burger should be. It's, it's an honest burger. It's not pork and brisket and, and you know, this, that, other thing, and truffles and foie gras, but uh, none of my burger. I want a hamburger, I want a cheeseburger, um, once in a while I'll put bacon or cheese on it, but it's, uh, I, I keep it simple, I keep it fresh, I keep it 100% pure. Well, that was obviously a shot across the bow at all these fancy burgers, but I had to keep trying them. All right, I'm having the BLT burger again from Manhattan. And again, this is like my 15th burger and I'm doing it for you. It's actually a little greasy. The pork is nice, it's got a nice bacon on it, but it's actually a little greasy. I, I don't really want to pay $30 for this burger. But you know, I, I'm not gonna say I'm not, it's not a good burger. It's, it's a good burger, I mean, I'm eating it, you know. But, but it's not a great burger. But when all the burgers were consumed and all the heartburn was cured, I did have time to reflect and I learned something. Okay, now that I've had about 20 burgers, I gotta say, even the fancy ones, even the frou-frou ones, even the ones from hotels in Washington, D.C., it's still a celebration of the burger. Everybody loves the burger, all these people behind me, they are here to eat burgers, however they define it. And I think this is a great country, red state, blue state, Hamburger, cheeseburger, field burger, lamb burger. It's a great country, it's a great celebration. And I'm Gersh Gutsman of the Brooklyn Paper.